What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the fourth Ken, and I'm back with another video. Now, today I got my man, Ma, and this is going to be a crazy, crazy transformation. Now, I could already tell he was going to cut it off because he came into the shop with his hair picked out, and usually he comes in with it braided or like it twisted or, you know, or it sponged up. So I just knew what was going to happen. So I had my camera ready. And we just gonna jump straight into it. I'm gonna be showing y'all a lot of gems in this video about symmetry, about enhancements, about how to get the perfect C cup. So just stay tuned. So as you can see, I created an opening with my no guard lever closed. And right now I have my three guard and the lever is closed. And we're just creating the opening in his hair. The reason why I'm starting from the crown is that you know, the crown is usually the most difficult part. So I wanted to just knock the uh, hard part out the way and then I would get to the easy part. So as you can see, I'm going very slow, um, even though the clip is sped up. I'm going slow because when I originally started cutting this client's hair a couple years ago, he had waves. So I know his pattern. I know how he brushes. But when someone's been growing their hair for so long, you know, calyx can be created. You know, when the hair is braided, when it's pulled a certain way, calyx can be created. So light spots come with calyx. So that's why I started with the higher guard. So in case there was any light spots, which there was in his hairline, I knew it wouldn't be an issue. Right when I saw it right here, I knew it wouldn't be an issue because I knew when, it not, when I knocked his hair down lower, it would blend in. And that's what I did. Uh, after this clip, I think I took a two guard, closed the lever, went with the green, and that was his perfect wavelength where I wanted to start his waves off. So right here is where I grabbed my two guard. And I just go with the grain, with the lever closed on my Babyliss FX Clippers. So something I wanted to mention was this clip right here, right here, I had washed his hair. So that's why it looks so laid, so clean, and so organic. I wash his hair. So whenever you cut a lot of hair off and it's all greasy, you just wanna wash it. So I started my uh, lever closed guideline, then I went up about an inch with the lever open. This is my surgical blade. And in between that, I had my lever halfway, and then I closed it. And now I have my liners just cleaning off his sideburns. I like the no sideburns look, especially when, you know, the client keeps their C cup. It just connects the cut. It brings the cut to like a full 360. Now I have my two guard clearing out the bulk. First it was open, now it was closed. And right now I have my one guard with the lever fully closed. And right here I open it up. Playing with that lever, going to the first first notch and the second notch. And now I grabbed my one and a half guard on my Babyliss. And I love this guard because it's the perfect in-between guard. You know, when you don't really feel like flicking out, this is a good detail guard too. Now I have my one guard on my Babyliss. And this one guard cuts differently than the one guard on the Andes Clipper. I don't know how to explain it, but it just cuts different. Then I grabbed my zero guard on my Andes Masters. And this is where I detail the taper. Uh, you see I'm flipping my clipper around and feathering it. This is where you get the nice detail work in. The fade's still not finished with the taper. 
So I went back with my one guard and just did some detail work. Once all the tapers are on each side and then the back are all tapered and detailed, you're going to want to line up the back and just notice how I do it, how I utilize the corners of my clipper. Uh, my technique switches up every time, just depending on the client. This client has a pretty easy shape up in the back. Um, his front hairline was a challenge, not this time, but you know, the first time I cut his hair, it was a challenge, but I feel like I've, I've gotten used to it. Uh, but the back shape, shape up is crispy and right now we're going to add some wave foaming mousse in his hair now i see a lot of barbers on instagram and stuff they they use this without washing their client's hair and i think that's kind of dirty uh if if the client washed their hair prior then i feel like that's acceptable and you know i take back what i said but if it isn't washed or clean and it's just automatically greasy then i feel like you're just adding to the problem uh so i recommend washing them before you put the foam right here i just added some shampoo dried it off then i added some alcohol and after the alcohol i comb the hairs back into place before the hairspray so that the hairspray can lock in the hairs that are combed down ready to shape up you don't want to you know spray hairspray on hairs that aren't ready to be comb down or that or if they're combed in the wrong direction because then it's pointless you're going to be shaping up hair that isn't the true shape up then we blow dried it and now we're going to start on the shape up so this is what i would really want to focus on in this video um you know i took my long youtube break I, I do all these breaks on youtube and during these breaks on youtube i'm not filming i'm not putting out haircut content but i'm working on my actual barbering game so you see I position myself directly in front of him to get a symmetrical shape up. His shape up is a pushback, but every haircut is a pushback. But his shape up, in order to get it even and dark, you have to push it back. So that's what we did, but it's a it's a healthy pushback. It's a, a acceptable pushback uh, because, you know, sometimes you have to push them back. Every haircut is a pushback. When I do my self cuts, it's a pushback also. But notice how I'm I'm matching it up with the other side of uh, the C cups. That's another important thing. You just wanna make sure you match it up with the other side. You know, a lot of clients will appreciate that when their haircut's symmetrical, when, you know, they take their little Instagram selfies, you know, they wanna make sure it matches up. If it's sloped or crooked, they're gonna be mad. They're gonna be mad at you. They're gonna notice that. People are gonna point it out. Just notice how I detail before the enhancements. You want to detail before you start spraying, you know, the enhancements. Now, right here, I want you guys to notice how I do not spray any enhancements on a C cup because I feel like his C cup was perfect to me. And I'm just spraying a couple pumps on his hairline and on his vertical bars. I'm not overdoing it. You don't want to make it look painted. You just want to add some enhancements to enhance the cut, not cover up the cut, not completely make the cut look way different than what it looked like before right here we're using our easy blade shaving products shout out to them use my promo code the fourth can for 10 percent off and just notice how i'm using the corners of my razor uh, i still wanted to include this clip in there even though my hair was covering it just to show y'all how i got the white line on a c cup too i didn't want y'all to think i cut it out or i you know didn't do it or I use pencil or nothing, but you know. how 
I'm stretching his skin and using that blade when the blade is tucked. Um, and right here is a trick what I like to do after my razor work is done, I go back and kind of expose my blade a lot just to reiterate that ash line on the vertical bars. And right here is probably my favorite clip of this entire video. The symmetry is on point. It's everything is symmetrical, the hairline, uh, the C cups, just everything is on point. And right here, we're just gliding on his hair with our surgical blade, just getting those frizzy hairs and your clients will really appreciate this. Like for real, this is literally taking detailing to the next level because you're it's tiny details. It's the little things that matter. And especially after cutting off a lot of hair like that, they're gonna have a lot of hair sticking up. So you just wanna even that out. This is the final clip of the cut. Let me guys know how you enjoyed it. Drop a comment, like, comment, and share this video. Please share this video for me. We about to hit 100K. I appreciate all the comments, the negative, the positive. Y'all helping me learn, y'all helping me grow. And I appreciate y'all sticking around with me for this journey. Please follow my Instagram at the fourth Ken and shout out Lixit Bixel for the beats. His channel will be down below. Make sure you sub to my guy. He got dope beats. Make sure you buy some beats for him, buy some licenses, all that good stuff. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And it's the fourth Ken and I'm out. Peace.